Speaking of sky-high prices, is it possible to cool down the housing market in Israel? Well, Israeli Finance Minister Avigdor Lieberman is introducing some new reforms that he thinks are going to increase supply and simmer down demand, and he's targeting foreign residents with higher taxes. Why? Well, joining us to break this down is our senior correspondent, Owen Alterman. So, Owen, before we get into the details, tell us a little bit more about these tax reforms. What will they look like? Right. Well, first answer, the first part of your question, why do you target foreign residents? I think it's pretty obvious because they don't vote. Right, so they're an easy target for Israeli politicians, right. obviously, because they're not voting in the elections here and don't have a, and don't have a, and don't have that sense as much at stake. As for what Lieberman wants to do, he wants to raise taxes. As you said, basically, uh, Natasha, in Israel, when you sell an apartment, you pay tax and how much the apartment's value went up between the time you bought it and the time you sold it. And Lieberman wants to raise that tax to 25%. What's the logic? The logic is that that'll decrease, he thinks, demand for those apartments on the part of the foreign buyers because it won't be as good of an investment. Right. They're simply gonna have to pay more taxes. They won't get as much as the profits. Remains to be seen how much of an impact this will have. Right, but you know, I, I kind of wanna talk a little bit more about the focus on foreign residents more specifically. What bigger of a role do they play in the housing market as a whole? I mean, is that the real concern here? And will that ultimately truly have an impact on everybody else? Yeah, I mean, obviously every little bit helps, so to speak, but foreign buyers, the, the, the perception is that they're concentrated in certain neighborhoods in certain cities. Right. You can imagine, right? Central Tel Aviv, Tel Aviv parts of Jerusalem, Netanya, even a lot. We can recite the list almost from memory and in some other parts of Israel, close to the coast, for example. So those neighborhoods in those parts of the country, foreign buyers make a big impact. As for nationwide and the nationwide housing prices, again, I think we're yeah. both raising our hands how much of a difference this is going to make. But again, this is an easy and obvious target for Israeli politicians. These are people who don't vote here, who don't have as much a stake here. And I think you can make the argument, Natasha, that as important as it is for many foreign buyers to want to invest in the Israeli economy, to have the emotional connection that an right. apartment in Israel brings to them living abroad, at the end of the day, housing first and foremost should be for the people who live here and are 100%. making their lives here. So well, there is a certain logic to it. I mean, I can definitely attest to the fact that I think most Israelis would look at this in a, in a very positive light because of the lack of of, of housing that exists. I mean, especially if you just want to find an apartment to rent, just rent here in Tel Aviv, it's almost impossible. Um, but overall, will this have a major impact? Is this really going to cool down the supply and perhaps bring down the prices a little bit? Uh, you know, again, I don't think it'll have a big impact, but this isn't the only thing the government is doing, right? The major thrust of the government's policy in housing is what's called the target price program, a kind of descendant, if you will, to what had been the main program a few right. years ago, Mechir Lemishtaken, uh, target uh, the price, the buyer's price, I guess is how you would translate yeah. it into English. Basically, Natasha, making apartments available primarily to first-time buyers, young couples, mm -hmm. singles over a certain age. The criteria for this program are looser than the criteria for the previous program, right. so more people are eligible. There's been a huge response since this program came online in the last few weeks. Tens of thousands of apartments potentially set to be offered. The government, in a sense, encouraging contractors to build and those first-time buyers to buy by subsidizing the apartments. The idea is to increase the supply because, of course, that's the real problem. That's what a new report from the Bank of Israel says. Not so much about decreasing demand, although potentially that could help, again, going back to those foreign buyers, yeah. but increasing the supply so that Israelis who want to buy apartments can get into that housing market. Well, they're just need, at this point, I think we all know there's so much that needs to be done to really solve this issue. It's but, a huge you know, political issue here. People it overseas is, should it understand. Is. But baby steps, right?